Hi there, this is Michael and today I'm going to show you how to set up a info at email for free with Zoho. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hit the business email and sign up. Um, just go with the free option, you don't need to pay for this, just sign up. Okay, and then you add in your domain name. Right, there we go and then you add in all your details don't have to put anything uh, put this info then add your mobile phone number and everything and then click sign up okay so once you've verified everything like the mobile phone you'll have to put in a mobile phone number and everything and once you verified that you have to go to the the registrar now the one I use is Namecheese so I go to others Okay, then you've got to input this information. So as my information for my Namecheap account is directed to SiteGround, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go onto SiteGround into my cPanel, and I'm going to do the information thing there. So the first thing I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to Advanced DNS Settings. Then I'm going to input all this. Now with SiteGround, they have TTL speed is 1440. Uh, you input this, so you copy this into this area, and then, of course, this one here and then what you do is you add the record okay then what you want to do is you want to proceed CNM verification okay it's verified now they're saying it's all good it's all linked up which is perfect and then you have this you come to this and it's just going to be info create account um, proceed add users you want to just skip that create groups skip that uh, okay, uh, configure start receiving email. So you need to set this up so you actually receive the email. So I'll go back into the cPanel and I go to MX Entry. I come here. Now this is the screen that I'm left with. I'm going to go to and click on Micron Pro automatically, and then I'm going to add in some. So first of all, I'm going to delete this one, and I'm just going to add this in. So it's going to be MX Soho. Priority, so we just look at this priority 10 and address destination. This this should be 10. Okay, and new record. And the second one is MX2 20. Add new record. But now that is done. Okay, choose your domain provider. Blah, 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 blah. No. Okay. MX lookup. No, it's currently for some reason did it not save it? I'm not sure. Maybe it takes some time to link up. Okay, there. As you see now it now it's linked up and it's all good. Okay, then we go next. Okay, we just uh, SPF skip migration. Let's have a look on email. Okay, just kind of see what is next. Okay, skip that. Okay, uh, great. The base setup. Okay, then we go to the Zoho workplace. Okay, now we're here. We're in the mail area. What we want to do is we want to click on this settings, and then this is going to go to email forwarding. Okay, from here we have the information that we want. Okay, but the first thing we want to do is you want to actually enter the email. So any incoming email, so this actually gets forwarded on. So the email that we want to send to is uh, mine, which is Micon. Sorry, it's a uh, Micon Pro 22. So let's just uh, close that down. Okay, so what we want to do, you want to add to email. You want to type in Micon. Now this is the free email that I created, so we're just going to go add. Now you're going to get a code from from them, and it's going to be sent to the email. Should be sent. Okay, here it is. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, and this code right here, so you can see it's been sent from there. This is so I can forward it up. All right. So then what we do? We go back into Soho and we verify the email. We paste that in. We confirm. Now every email that's sent will be actually forwarded on. 
Now we want to actually have an info at email. So what we do, we go into this gear icon here, we go into settings, account and import. Then underneath here, what we want to do is add, uh, add this. So we're just going to type in the name info at Minecon Pro, take all that. Okay, and then we next step. Now this part here, we it like Gmail thinks it's got all the information right, but it hasn't. What you want to do is you want to take this information here, the SMTP, and you want to add that in. Which one? Okay, that one was kind of off. That was what I want to do for. Okay, so this one here is you just want to take that information, the bottom one, SMTP. You want to take the email info. You want to put four six five this one and then you want to enter the Zoho email have it as SSL, SSL and add account now what's going to happen is uh, an email is going to be sent over to Zoho and what you want to do is you just want to grab that uh, one in the inbox so the Gmail confirmation email where are we? here's the code go uh, okay and then you want to enter this code and you want to click on verify now you want to go back into here now what's happened now is this email has been added you want to make it the default I'll show you why in a moment okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email uh, from one of my other email addresses Gonna name that. Here we go. Okay, I just sent that out. Okay, and your inbox. Boom, it's come through. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Uh, sorry, I had to. <laughs> yeah, I have to uh, confirm. Sorry. Yeah, before you get anything else, you have to confirm that. Please confirm. Inf okay, confirm that. Okay, sorry, I forgot the confirmation parts. Okay, and I'll return to the email, and boom. Okay, so you can see that email has come through, and uh, that's, you know, that's my other email for my other business, my, my blog. Now, if you come here, what we can do is you can look whether you want to send it as one of these two. Now, if you want to create more aliases, it's basically as simple as just adding uh, some more aliases. So go back to the main uh, inbox and then go to control panel to create your aliases here go into mail accounts then here you want to click on like this part and then you see add a new alias so the new alias I want to create is Michael at this I'm going to save that okay that is saved as a new alias Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Where was it before? Okay, so we're going to go back into the back end. So here, no. Why is it not working? All right, so we're going to go back into the back end of this. Oh, what am I doing? No, we'll go back to Gmail. <laughs> uh, go back to Gmail. Click on the gear icon, settings. Okay, accounts and import. Okay, add an email address. Okay, this one. Okay, oh, so be just type in this just so you can get it and then type in my goal. Okay. Next step. Okay. SMTP 465. Basically I'm just entering the same details as before. Okay, add account. Okay, and then it's gonna send a code. Oh, there's my code. It's going to send me the code. Okay, Gmail team, come here. So literally, it's just a rinse and repeat. So you can now get as many aliases as you got down want. So go into that. Okay, sometimes what happens is it adds a space, and this won't let you verify for some reason. So if I come here and try and verify, it's going to be like, no, you're wrong. So literally, you got to make sure you don't have the verify there. At space there, boom, that's done. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the Gmail. We're gonna go into here. Okay, 
and I'm gonna come back. Okay, I'm gonna get this email again. Come here as click confirm. Okay, now I'm um, gonna go back into this. Now, now I have the choice on whether I want to send this email as this one or this one. You know, so it's really up to me. Um, so again, I'm just gonna show you the difference between this. I'm gonna send another email. Um, let's do this, Michael at mycanper.com. Hey. Okay, now I'm going to show you a small difference. Okay, so that email just gone through. Okay, now it's going to send through the paths. It's going to come through, or is it not? We'll see. This should have all been set up properly. Okay, so I've got through on this one. So I've got through here. See, okay, there, but just okay. It, there is a slight delay because you have to send now. The thing is right here, the default right now is info. Remember when I told you before? Okay, where are we? Settings. Okay, back into settings. When I when I told you before, okay, you know, you can set it as whatever default. So if I want to make, as you can see, this is come through as this one to be able to send as the default. But what, if you want to change to Michael and I want to send that email, boom, I can send that one off as info at freshbelief.com. Uh, sorry, yeah, I can send it as this one, so it's sent it to this email, but also I could change it to this one. But if I want to make the default, uh, one, one of the other two, let's get rid of that. Uh, if I want to make the default one of the other two, I'll just make default here or default here. And that is how you set up a Gmail, um, a free info at email. So, yeah. Alright, the last thing that I want to say to you, mm -hmm. like, as I said, I set it up through SiteGround. Now, a lot of this, I didn't know how to do, you know, it's, it's, it's very complicated. Now, the people that I used and that helped me is, okay, on Namecheat, they have live chat to help you. And also is the, the support here. So I just want to show you this. This is the chat that I had here. I was like, okay, so I'm trying to make this. I didn't know. Okay, C name, I asked him. And so he's basically helped me set it up very easily. And, you know, I got talked to him within, like, we're talking like 20 seconds. He, he answered me in 20 seconds. And I really like SiteGround. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is if I just, I was a host gated before and their service was terrible. So I transferred over to the, they helped me out and it's been a dream ever since. Now, I recommend if you go for a server, go for SiteGround. They're the best ones ever. You know, I just write Raven on. And yeah, so. All right, yeah. Uh, if you're interested in SiteGround, uh, go to freshbelief.com forward slash hosting and you know you get the first month pretty cheap all right i hope you enjoyed this and if you did just let me know all right cheers